The Marines arrived in waves by transport helicopters, landed in a cloud of dust, and hit the landing strip at full speed. Their objective? Seize the airfield and destroy any enemy who stood in the way. We started pushing uh, by squad rushes up to the objective. Um, we had some role players out here today to give us a, uh, a little look on what it might be like. Um, they were equipped with uh, IEDs all around the perimeter and also uh, suicide bomber vests. Since Echo Company will be tasked as the Hilo Company for 2nd Battalion, 7th Marines, they need to understand seizing an airfield, interacting with enemy prisoners of war, and conducting casualty evacuations. Uh, they got put together about three weeks ago, so they really haven't trained with each other very much. Short time frame, but that's kind of what you expect from Marines. The Echo Company commander, Captain Richard McKenzie, said the airfield seizure was a dress rehearsal for the real thing. This is extremely valuable. This uh, really makes the difference between uh, life and death, especially for these Marines. Right here is uh, our rehearsal time. This is when we get to practice and make mistakes and correct those mistakes. When we're actually doing this for real, we need to be uh, right on and really can't afford to make any mistakes. Although 2-7 used their own Marines as role players and told them to try stopping the incoming Marines the best way they could, the mission was still successful. Within a few hours, the 29 Palms airfield was under Echo Company's control. Reporting for the Combat Center, I'm Corporal Emery Traffy.